Hello everybody, welcome to day number three of e-learning. You should be in your third week of e-learning. Uh, again, your third B day. So again, just to recap, day one was three days stoichiometry. That should be done by now. I still don't have some turned in, gotta do it. Email me, all right, as usual. Day two was introducing acids and bases. That was just some straight up vocab, should have been pretty straightforward, and also some uh, notes on pH, and I had the big pH scale up here with a bunch of different things down here. Um, so that was day number two, as well as names and formulas of acids. And again, for homework that we have on the next few days, next few e-learning days, keep those notes out, okay? Hopefully have it get written down the notes for the, uh, you know, for the pH scale. As for today, we're just going to be continuing some acid-base information. We're going to be looking at two assignments, so two documents. Uh, the first one is, is going to be ingredients that you are going to be looking at um, around your house, so looking at some household items, and just reading the ingredient labels and just trying to see what kinds of acids, bases, and or salts are in those items. Okay. And the next thing is going to be a little uh, pH simulation, which just involves your Chromebook, looking at the internet, uh, looking at a certain simulation, and trying to really understand what pH means and what it means for something to be acidic, neutral, and, um, and or basic. So to give you an idea about this ingredients uh, label document, again, make sure you open up the ingredient label document on Haiku on day, uh, day three for e-learning. What we're looking at are, you need to look at 12 items in your house, or not, sorry, not 12, I got the T, uh, 20, all right? So 20 items in your house. Don't just pick 20 things and go for go with those. You need to look at a certain item in your house. I recommend looking in your fridge, looking in your freezer, looking in your pantry, uh, your bathroom, underneath your, your kitchen sink, um, in your garage. Just look at, just look at stuff, okay? read the ingredient labels and if there's not a necessarily a label on it you can look and see what the active or inactive ingredients are if there's blatantly no label at all like if you have i don't know an orange then i guess you can't do the orange uh so look at actual ingredient labels so i got some sweet baby ray's um buffalo wing wing sauce i think it's pretty legit and in the back i'm looking at the actual ingredients and and what I'm doing is I'm looking for actual things that say what acid it is, okay? Um, so for acids, they're actually pretty straightforward. So this Sweet Baby Ray's Buffalo Wing Sauce actually has something called citric acid, and it does say that, citric acid. Um, if I'm looking at a can of Coke, it does say in the ingredients, phosphoric acid, okay? Um, so that's what this little guy says. So that's what we're looking for. And I got this, uh, rinse aid for shiny dishes. This also says citric acid. So on your document, when you type out the item under the acid column, write down whatever acid is in it. If it has an acid, okay? Not every item you choose has to have an acid, a base, and some kind of salt in there. It can just have one, it can have many, it can have all three, it can have two. Uh, hopefully you don't pick something that has none. That defeats the purpose. So that's what we're looking for for the acids. For the bases, you're looking for something that has hydroxide or some kind of carbonate in it. Now I know on the, P I know on the pH um, video, the last one, we talked about carbonates and hydro or hydroxides more often, but if I'm looking at things that have hydroxides or carbonates, Tums or antacids, if I look at the back, it says calcium carbonate. That is a base. So that could be something you use that you look at. Okay, look at some kind of antacid that you have. I got the uh, assorted berry Tums. Also, I showed this last time, the Cascade dishwasher detergent. Uh, for the ingredients, there's a whole bunch of ingredients on the side here. One of them is sodium carbonate. Carbonate, that is a base, okay? So that could be, um, this could be an item that you use. Make sure you look at your own, you know, kitchen. Um, find something like this. This has sodium carbonate on it. So that would be, again, known as a base. For the actual salts, I'm not looking for salt, like table salts, okay? I'm looking for an actual salt name 
Okay, what a, a salt is just a, is just an ionic compound. So you look at your vocab from day number two. A salt is just when a metal cation and a non-metal anion come together. That's what we're looking for for salts. So there should be some kind of metal element name with some kind of anion attached to it. So you're looking for things that have two names on there, or at least two words. I've got some Tylenol here. And if I look at the ingredients in Tylenol, um, one of the, a lot, there's actually a lot of salts in this. They are known as inactive ingredients. There's something called iron oxide. Iron metal oxide is a non-metal. Iron oxide, that is known as a salt. There's also, um, let's see, titanium dioxide, it says. Titanium's a metal, dioxide would be your non-metal. Uh, a lot of things in here. There's also sodium pro, eh, that's not it. There's something called, called uh, let's see, magnesium stearate. That's a salt, magnesium metal. Stearate would be a, um, an anion. I've also got some cream cheese. I'm looking at the ingredients. It does say sodium citrate. So sodium's a metal. Citrate would be a non-metal, or at least your anion. So that is known as a salt. I really don't see much of anything else in here. So if you choose something like this and you only see some kind of salt, obviously you can include that. I also have some uh, meal mixer for my dog, for Eddie. A lot of ingredients in here. And um, one of them actually is, let's see, sodium selenite. There's a lot of ingredients in here. Um, sodium phosphate, that is a salt. Okay, it's also folic acid, is an acid too. So if my dog's meal mix, folic acid would be in there. And also sodium uh, phosphate, sodium chloride, that's a salt. So that's all we're doing is we're looking at a bunch of uh, household items and just trying to read the, uh, read the labels, read the ingredient labels, just see what's in there and just fill out that document. Looking for 20 things, okay, 20 things. Um, and then the pH simulation, make sure you check that out as well. As usual, email me with uh, questions or concerns, but we're just, uh, you know, it's nothing too crazy, just, you know, get a little exercise, walk around your house, see uh, what you can find out um, for the labels. So, great. Thanks, everybody.